Hey everyone, so in this video um, I'm going to talk about how to find a point or a coordinate actually, it's either x or y coordinate, if you're given a slope. So in this case I have an x and a y and then x that I don't really know and a y and then the slope. So I'm going to use the slope formula to do it and that would be y sub 2 sub because it's subscript which means it has no mathematical operative value it's not like an exponent it's just a label that's it and then x x sub 2 minus x sub 1 I feel like I'm saying eggs sub 1 equals m I don't know why I wrote the slope for this problem there when I should write the generic so that's where we're going off of uh, you might want to mark these up this is the first x and y this is the second x and y. So I'm going to go and substitute some values in. My y sub 2 value is 8. So I'm going to go over here and do this. Uh, minus y sub 1 which is 3. My x, uh, x sub 2 is x. I don't know what it is yet. Minus negative 2. So you can put minus negative 2 here if you want. Anytime I have this kind of two signs in the middle, if they're the same sign, I just eliminate them and put a plus, plus there, because subtracting a negative is actually just the same as adding. So I'm going to do that just to make things look nice and clean. You're welcome to leave it as minus negative 2 if that's how you want to do things. But plus, there you go. If they were different signs, one was minus, one was, or you have a negative and a positive, or a minus sign and an addition sign, whatever, uh, you can make it into a minus, but there it is. Anyway, this. I'm going to go ahead and combine these in the numerator here. So it would give me 5 over x plus 2 equals negative 5 over 2. And now I can do, uh, even though it's a fraction, the easy move here is to just do cross products. So cross multiplying. 5 times 2 is 10. And that's equal to negative 5 times the quantity x plus 2. So I just solve from here, really. X is negative 4. If I want to, like it's my life ambition, it's super easy to test. Because now I'll have the parts I need. I just put a 4 here, and then I say, okay, I'll go back to the slope formula, and I'll do 8 minus 3 over 4 minus negative 2. Just make sure you have them all kind of in the way that you want to end up dealing with it. And this is a negative 4. I don't know why I didn't write that. Um, so anyway, 8 minus 3 is 5, and negative 4 minus negative 2 or negative 4 plus 2 will only get back to negative 2. So that's the slope. There it is. I'll do one more, and that's it. This is a super difficult concept. If Once you see it one done once, you're usually pretty good. And uh, with a y, so same thing. You heard that spiel earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and mark them up. And you, obviously you don't have to mark them up if you don't want to. I just do it just to get my head wrapped around it each time. I don't like to make careless mistakes that cost me points and I miss the answer. It's frustrating. Anyway, uh, y sub 2 is 0 minus y over negative 5. And once again, it's minus negative 2 but I'm going to treat it like a plus because that's what I want to do. Equals negative 1. Now I do a combination of terms here in the denominator in this case. End up with negative 3. This one's a little bit faster to solve so I don't have to do cross products here. The whole thing is divided by negative 3 so I just do times negative 3 there those cancel. 0 minus y is just negative y. So, I don't know, I think I accidentally 
deleted that one, my bad. There you go, negative y. Um, negative 1 times negative 3 is equal to positive 3. So I've got that going for me. Um, this is There's only one y here, so it's really negative 1 times y. So to get rid of times negative 1, I'll divide by negative 1. So I'm going to say that y is equal to negative 3. I could be wrong, so I'm going to test it. And you don't have to sit through this if you don't want to, but, you know, it's a good reminder that it's possible. Plus 3 over uh, negative 5 plus 2 end up with 3 over negative 3, which is just negative 1. So my answer of negative 3 is correct. I suppose I should circle this one versus the other, but there you go. Finding a coordinate that is missing when you have the slope and the rest of the coordinates.